Last week, the Mountaineers fought back to win in Greenville against East Carolina with a 39-35 dub, and we're looking forward to win two in a row with our first conference game of the year, South Alabama traveling from the Gulf up to the Appalachian Mountains. But first, let's take a look at the current top 25. Feel free to pause and take a look at the entire list. And now a look at the Heisman race led by Alabama quarterback Jalen Milrow coming off of a five touchdown performance at Wisconsin. And last week, both Michael Fletcher and Caden Robinson earned Sunbelt Player of the Week honors, both with huge games apiece. Let's take a look at this week's spotlight players. First up, we have Jaden Voison. The senior free safety comes with hard hits, high football IQ, and a bit of quickness. Seems to be the near perfect balance of hard hitter and a ball hawk. And on the offensive side, senior halfback Braylon McReynolds. At 5'8 and 180, he may not seem menacing, but McReynolds backs up his play with quickness. Look for him to get free from the backfield early on. And with that, we head straight to Boone, North Carolina, and into Kid Brewer Stadium for the first Sunbelt Conference matchup of the year for App State. And it seems like we've seen this plenty of times this year. Aguilar's going to throw it to the right. There's a Jaguar waiting from underneath. That's number six, Ricky Fletcher with the INT. He's going to run that back for the first score of the game for the Jags going up early. And, uh, yeah. Already looking rough for us here. Second quarter, App State now down by 10. Aguilar throwing it over liable there. Caden Robinson for the easy score. Lead now down to three for the App State Mountaineers. Right before halftime, South Alabama's Gio Lopez is going to throw it to DJ Thomas Jones, the tight end, who has no one over the top. He's going to fight it in for six. This puts the Jags up by 13 after their extra point second half now. Gio Lopez with a quick pitch into the flat to who other than Thomas Jones for a second score of the game. Jags now up by 21 and it's looking grim for App State already. 239 left in the third quarter. Aguilar confusing the defense with an option. Look, he's going to keep it, follow his block, and man he runs over a guy for six. Aguilar may have trouble throwing, but he does look strong running downfield. App State now down by two scores. Jags with the ball in the red zone. Lopez yet again throws to the flat. This time finds the twin brother of Jaden Voison, Devin Voison, for the easy score. Jags push back and are now up by 21 yet again. Aguilar looking to climb, look maybe work some more comeback magic. He's going to find Christian Horn on the comeback route. Bring it back within 14 for App State. They are no strangers on the comeback games. We'll see how that goes moving forward. 242 left in the game. Aguilar checks down to Kanye Roberts, who then ducks, dips, and dives his way into the end zone. It's just a one-score game now. Mountaineers have some hope here late to maybe come back and head to overtime or maybe even get a win. A stop here is going to give App State a chance. The defense is going to come up short. South Alabama is going to leave Boone with a 35 the 28 win, App State losing their first conference game of the season. After fighting back for the win last week at East Carolina, the Mountaineers just couldn't get it done at home. App State now 2-2 two two, heading into a tough matchup with undefeated Liberty next week. If you've made it this far in the video, drop your prediction below, win or loss, and the score for next week's game. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one.